Flourish and Flower Lovers and everyone that is watching right now, uh, welcome to the Boerman Institute. We're here uh, together with Gregor Lersch at the International Master Florist Education. And we've been yeah, progressing for two weeks now. Yes. the end of the second week. Yes, yes. We are actually very intensely busy to make people tired. Yes. <laughs> because of, I think, uh, it's, a uh, it's a very tight um, schedule. So because of people today, nowadays, they cannot stay away from their places for a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. So it's very intensive. So we put a lot in a day. True. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. let them say what they feel about it. You yeah, know. There's a, there are long <coughs> days. We're starting every day at 9. Officially, we finish at 5, but, you know, sometimes it's 6. Uh, sometimes even, uh, well, the latest it's been was 7. Yeah. But uh, that's an yeah. exception. And yeah. we should say that uh, for some uh, very special subjects like color, yep. uh, then we have evening uh, sessions again. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't want to talk it down and say it's all easy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So... Then the, the sketching, which should be actually the way that people can uh, do this in a short time. We call it, I call it, power sketching, so that you can um, serve to your customer when you are advising a, a sketch in yeah. about in five, second, uh, five minutes. Yeah. And so all of this has very much uh, a meaning which is in good relation to the times we are living in now. You know. For sure, yeah. The the fact that we are able to have uh, a day just fully dedicated to sketching, to prepare your your masterworks, is uh, is really is really something. Yeah, yeah. the the planning, mm -hmm. sketching, building flowers. Yeah. So that should be actually the way how we work. The visual communication is very important. So the house here is also full of uh, the social media <coughs> works and graphic design and all this. So that is today a healthy ambience for florists who um, want to communicate with uh, their clients or amongst themselves. So yes. that is very important. Yes, yes, very interesting and important to communicate with yourself. You have an idea in your head. You kind of see it, but putting it on paper really helps a lot. Yes, so the interchange is also amongst the students. We yeah. have this uh, uh, pages that they communicate very much and they are existing now for the third time for this yeah. third yeah, the time third yeah. Yeah, yeah so that the groups are still in touch and it goes very well together mm -hmm. the interchange of experiences and all that yeah. and uh, Boma is a homeland I have to say that mm. Boma is a homeland uh, people who, who once were once here that <clears throat> they feel like when they come back that there is something like home so I don't Thank want you. to talk this too sweet, <laughs> yeah. But um, that is the whole feeling here. And then uh, in the middle of Alsmere, that is one of the hotspots uh, of the whole flower world. Especially me, I have a deep <clears throat> relationship to the horticulture and to the gardens and to the producers and all that. Mm. <clears throat> I feel this is a very um, strongly important alliance. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're very lucky to be situated here with every, everything in reach. We need something maybe last moment, just a five minute drive to the auction and we can get the flowers that we need. So, and we've had a very, very big help from uh, a lot of local uh, companies like uh, Margin Par. Uh, they're a big supporter of the International Master Flourish Education. Deco Fresh has been helping out so much from, uh, thank you for, to Peter and uh, Helena. And uh, we've had Decker Crescenta. Yes. Yes, Waria has been helping us out. Then um, the, the rosa bottles, the yes, gentleman. Yes, the rose yeah. So that's rosefruits.nl. Yeah. Um, and then amazing, amazing varieties from Morning Glory. All these special little flowers that, that are... That is really unbelievable. So yeah, yeah. Every work was uh, influenced by wonderful forms. Mm -hmm. Even in November, if you imagine, a lot of these things come from outside. Yeah. And that is really... Uh, a very strong influence um, that we have botanical specialties. Sure. So the, you do not work only uh, with that, what is daily in a simple flower shop, uh, in, the sh in the shelves, in the, in the cooler, in the yeah. presentation. Yeah. And we shouldn't forget also our uh, South African friends, Ioba. 
Yeah, yeah. Ioba also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think that um, that the people also here they are really not pushed. Mm. Yeah, directed very much into um, craftsmanship. Yeah. So that uh, that is very intense. So that they do not only uh, study what was up to date as a technique for years. We are looking very much for fairly sustainable techniques and uh, looking for recycling and uh, redoing. Mm -hmm. And um, that is very much of an issue. And uh, yeah, what are we, what we going to do today? Yeah, what we're going to do, yeah. So we've been talking a little bit about the program. But the real reason uh, we are doing this live stream is so that the students can show their amazing work. So we've had an amazing mix of students uh, in the class from uh, Japan to the US to Australia, Australia China to, yeah, ja Oman China America yeah so uh, everyone has their own cultural influence um, and the stuff that they love and uh, they'll be coming in uh, real soon uh, to show some of the works so I believe it's going to be Matthew Landers from Australia who's going to be the first designer to show off some of the works um, so let me just uh, give a little look and see uh, how that's going. I'll be right back. Yeah, shall I stay here? Yeah, you can. S you're allowed to stay. Shall I, shall I take it off now? Oh, no, 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 we're still here. Yeah, we're still here, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, maybe, exactly, that's a, actually, you're right. You probably should, uh, we should exchange the microphone for, uh, for Matthew. Yes. So Matthew is coming up any moment now. Yes, thank you very much. So we're switching, we're tag teaming today. Um, so we're, ha we're having to share the mics, we just have two of them. So thank you very much, Gregor. Appreciate a lot. Yes, now yeah. let uh, the people speak about their yeah. experience. So I will, yes, I'll move this out of the way. And then Sinsen will help you with the microphone. Over here. Yes, yes. Thank you. And I'll move this out of the way. So thank you very much, Gregor, for the introduction. And I'm going to move this out of the way. You know how it goes. So if anyone in the chat has any questions at any time you know how it goes it's very possible to ask the questions we have Sinsen behind the camera she sees all the incoming questions and i will be reading them uh, in a second yes and then matthew here has this wonderful piece that he just brought in i'll just move it to the back a little bit we're gonna put on some light on there and then we're good to go. Have you properly been mic'd up, Matthew? I am ready to go. Oh, lovely. I know. How are you feeling? I'm great. I'm nice. always great. I don't, see the thing is, hmm. you don't have to get ready if you stay ready. Oh, very so good. I'm always ready. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that very much. So, yeah, so Matthew came here all the way up from Australia. He's I love the way amazing... everyone always says that, all the way from yeah. Australia, like it's on a different planet. <laughs> It's like the farthest we can go, we feel like. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah, no, we appreciate having you here. And uh, it's been amazing seeing your works. Oh, thank you. So, um, yeah, I would just let it over to you and not disturb you so much. But ev every now and then, maybe I'll pop in with a okay. question if that's all right. So this was a task that we were doing uh, a few days ago now. And what it was, we, we were assigned an emotion. So we had to depict a design based on an emotion. So obviously in an industry like ours, we are heavily driven by emotion. And most of the clients that we would see and the people that we design flowers for, obviously we're doing it surrounding an emotion. Now the emotion that I drew out of the hat was agony. So I, I thought, okay, what does, <laughs> what does agony mean to me? So I um, created two um, disc frames. Uh, I, obviously, I'm 
I'm all about getting stuff done quickly, right? So I hate just sitting here for hours and hours and hours making things because I just get so bored. So I thought, what's the most effective thing that I can make in the shortest amount of time? And I chose to do um, these two discs and I bound them with several different textures of wool. So I've got a couple of different textures of wool on there. And then what I've done is I've got um, some, is this Equisetum? Dried Equisetum? Yes, it does look like it, yeah. does, but it's, uh, it's uh, a type of reed. Okay, so a dried reed, and I've just woven um, it through, because I thought this would also be, um, this is a technique that I've done a few times, because it's, it's a great technique to use um, when you want to be able to secure something. So I wanted to use this as an example, because anything that's not going to be in water, you can, of course, just weave into the design as well, and it will stay there. So I've just woven that through a couple of different pieces of tense wool. And there we go. So there's these beautiful rose hips here in Holland. So I've created, um, the when we think about the proportion of a design like this and you think about the, the golden rule or the Fibonacci sequence, so the three, five and eight. So I wanted my area of dominance to be at the top here. So of course the overall um, size here of the, the discs versus a focal area that's going to sit here and the height, I had to be really careful about how the proportion scaled itself. So I've used this large bromeliad, um, which I have just woven with some wool. Oh, there's that piece of grass I was looking for. Um, I've just woven with some wool and then I have attached that to the structure. I've also used a couple of pieces of black bamboo, which I've just secured into the pot. And I've just got some nice tension here to move your eye in a more circular motion, bring your eye, eye down and around. Using this um, beautiful red cornice as a um, also a lovely moving branch, creating lots of depth. You can't really see it necessarily so much in video, but there is quite a lot of depth and dimension as well from front to back and back to front. So using the um, rose hip is also a nice touch to add more depth into the design. So I've already got some test tubes that I have pre-attached into the discs. So I've just woven a small amount of decorative aluminium wire around a glass test tube. All right, so uh, Matthew, mm -hmm. so Matthew, we have uh, in the chat a couple of people mm -hmm. and uh, we have Charmony saying, whoop, whoop, the f for the fabulous Matthew Landers, mm -hmm. always a big fan of your work. Stop it. <laughs> She's being nice, huh? Oh, that's very nice. nice. Very lovely. And we have um, Ethan Wang. Uh, he is uh, an a IMF alumni from Taiwan, and mm -hmm. he's saying hello to everyone. So, well, I'm everyone at the moment. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everyone else is all already busy right now. While we're finishing our last task for the week. Yeah, you guys are over in the other classroom making these lovely large room designs and teams. We are, and they're just, they've just gotten past the ugly stage now, so they're just sort of starting to come to life, which is nice. Oh, that's a good stage. You're right. It's sometimes you're looking at your work and you're like, what, what am I doing, actually? Yeah. I don't know. It's the ugly stage am where I it's forced? like, uh-oh, I've made a bad choice. So these color lilies are offering a really great... Uh, line in the designs. I'm just finding a nice little piece of wool that's not too tight just to sit this behind so that I have don't have to use any additional wire or decorative elements to secure anything into the design any further if I can avoid it. I had to think about where everything was because I just had to pull this apart a little bit. So I have to now remember where everything went. Or maybe I just do it again from the beginning. Yeah, 
Yeah, we kind of, uh, how do you call that, took you out of the blue there. Yeah, I was ready though. I thought, yeah, let's do this. This is going to be fun. I'm going to move this up so that we've got a little bit of directional line facing the opposite way. And then some beautiful kangaroo paw. This is a really lovely natural movement. So I really want to capture the shape of this. So I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can see it in the video, how it's sort of starting to come to life with its circular movement again. So I haven't really used an awful lot of flowers. I wanted to keep the um, amount of flowers, I guess, a little more simple. Um, so I guess it's a, I mean, it's a very decorative design. The structure itself is a huge area of dominance. Now, if I was an anthurium, where would I like to go? Here, this is where I would like to go. And look at that, there's a test tube waiting for me. So I'm gonna move this cow lily. Cause she has, I've Got, so I went and got some new calla lilies and the direction of them is slightly different. So they're not quite playing how they were playing with me the other day. But I'm happy now. They're always a little bit cheeky, huh? They are, they're cheeky. But Gregor was saying the other day that he thinks that they're the, the model of the flower world because they've got beautiful long legs and a lovely face, which I think is a great analogy. Yes, I agree. Of these beautiful flowers. Yeah. So nice, strong focal area with these anthuriums. The color of these anthuriums is so beautiful. The nuances of color within the flower, just divine. Seeing those really close together, get that focal area really strong. Now, where did you go? And then making sure everything is in water. I mean, it just makes such a big difference. You, you know, you hear florists that, or sea florists that don't make so much effort to put flowers in water. And like, even just this week, we've seen the difference, haven't we? In yeah, for just sure. by choosing to put the flowers, making sure that they're really in water, well hydrated. Giving them fresh cut, uh -huh. giving them uh, the flower food, yeah. All the love for the flowers. Put her back into water. And then a couple of other. Now, I had never seen this before this week. Oh, really? The Knipophia? Yeah, yeah absolutely it's beautiful. It's so cool, isn't it? It's just bizarre. It's like a. Yeah, it's such a nice stem length. Yeah. I find it quite interesting because um, it's a product of margin par. And mm. usually, when, when I think of margin par, I think of all these lovely summery flowers, these mm -hmm. dainty flowers, and then suddenly this beauty is in it's there it's really alien like i mean it's just 
absolutely beautiful. And when I had the theme of agony, I thought, wow, this actually, you know, it kind of has that oh, yeah. feeling almost of just like a, um, I wouldn't even know how to describe it. Like, like that tension you get when you're in pain where you can't think straight, you know, it's, this is sort of got yeah. that similar sort of feeling to it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the gradient going from green to red, it's like sore. It's look, it looks sore. Almost. It is sore. It, it, she just told me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm sore. Please let me be. And then just one more kangaroo paw and a rose hip and then we're done. So I've got um, a nice movement that's moving your eye all the way around here. I just need something that's going to get your eye to travel backwards a little bit. Go. Very nice. It's coming together real, real lovely. It's one of those pieces, like I was trying to, you know, take photos and videos of it the other day. And you know how sometimes you make a design and you think, oh, you, you truly cannot see what it looks like. Oh yeah. In yep. photo. Yep. Sometimes you take a picture and you're like, ah, why okay. can't, why doesn't it look the same? It's like a totally, total different art to photograph yeah. it nicely. But, but also sometimes you learn a lot, just you, you look at your work, you think, you think something's off, you take a picture and you're like, ah. And it's interesting in because when I, well, when I'm doing, like we do a lot of weddings and events and a lot of the time when I'm doing um, a wedding, like and we're sort of in the final stages of finishing, mm. I'll actually take my phone and oh. look at everything on my phone so I can see what the photos people take are going to look like. Yeah, very good, very good. That's a great tip for anyone. Done. So nice oh, and simple. Okay. Agony, do you get agony from this? I get agony from this. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's good on a cut. You can see that it's good on a couple of angles as well. Like you can turn it oh, to yeah. look sort of wider, but this is the sort of the intended front as such. Um, so that it looks like it's also really, you can see in, in the um, center as well. I'll just quickly turn it. You can see into the structure as well. Oh, so inside the structure, it's got that real intenseness of the crossing lines um, and the movement that exists within there as well. So then the focal area, of course, um, sits nice and proud. I think she might have been that way before. You know what? We're not trying to rebuild Rome. <laughs> so we're not going to get worried about the placement of an anthurium today. No worries. So this is my agony. My agony all the way from Australia, all the way in Holland. <laughs> I leave you my agony, my gift to you. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have unburdened yourself I have your agony. That's the, that was the aim of my day today. I thought, you know what, if I can pass my agony on to someone else and your viewers, my job is done. Thank you. Well, it looks really great. Thank, Thank you, you very for much, having Matthew. me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And well, if you want to follow, follow Matthew and see more of his work, of course, you can go to his Instagram. He has an amazing Instagram, uh, Matthew Landers. Um, you can just find him by his name. <laughs> And you can see all of his works and such. So very, very good. Now uh, he'll go back to his uh, teammate, Gina Treshner, who you will see later. And we're getting um, Oliver, I believe, on the floor in just about a second. Thank you very much again. Thank you. So in the meantime, I will walk upon towards the stage. So you're, it's not strange that you're looking at, oh, where is everyone? Oh, yeah. So I heard a couple of people say like, oh, uh, it's a little bit soft. So we're sorry about that. Uh, the audio, audio is, uh, is uh, kind of low, uh, but you know, maybe we can raise the volume a little bit. I've dropped down the volume of the speaker mic, uh, which, you know, should compensate so that if you raise your audio, you don't get the blast of the people uh, talking um, behind the camera. So 
we now have Oliver coming in in the second. I will just move this out of the way because he's not going to use it. And Oliver is yes, here. Thank you. Matthew was all the way from Australia and Oliver is all the way from Belgium. Whoa. Yes, hello. <laughs> so far away. I'm a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> So okay. how are you? You're mic'd up. It's all working. Yes, very yes. good. Very I good. Think Sin Sin so. is helping a lot out a lot behind the scenes. So Oliver, you got this work here. You've yeah. uh, prepped a lot. Let's move it a little bit yeah, to the so back so that can they see can it. see it. Yes. And then maybe yeah, there you go. Yeah, there yeah, that's it is. It. So um, so uh, Oliver, you are here now for in the master program. You yes, came yes, before in the advanced program. Yeah, how did yeah, you find yeah. it so far? Yeah, it was so much fun. Uh, mm. I learned so much. Um, yeah, Burma is so great. Well, um, thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't pay you to crazy. say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It just. Uh, but I'm glad just you're is, yeah. enjoying. So uh, yeah, I won't take too much of your time. I believe you have a lot to show. So uh, yeah. please uh, <laughs> go ahead. You can explain okay. what it is and why you're doing it. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. I'll bring so your flowers closer. I'm actually doing a new design. Um, it's a displacement. Um, just a small one and uh, so let's start uh, okay I'm using uh, the Gloriosa um, because I saw it today and it was such a nice color so yeah I really wanted to use it uh, it's so beautiful yeah I had these branches picked up uh, today I love them, they're so fun. They're crazy. Let me see. I'm gonna try to use the, um, the Gloriosa as uh, the focal flower. Nice. And then, uh, because the color is so uh, strong, so I'm gonna. Yeah, the Gloriosa is a beautiful flower, it's a great choice for a vocal. Yeah. Especially this color, it's so beautiful. You can you guys see it, it's crazy. Yeah, very nice. Just try to do this. I'm gonna start with these. So I use this uh, steel grass to give a little bit connection and the Rose Esmeralda branch. So it's not only extremely displaced, And I have this uh, warrior panicum. Um, I always like it to give some uh, air into the arrangement. Do it like this. Okay. Very good. Always wise to add some different textures to your work. Yeah. Lovely. I always like that to have uh, that. Um, now I'm gonna. I put in the clematis. I think these uh, are from Markenpar. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, clematis they're so from beautiful. Markenpar. We're very lucky to have uh, them on our team. Uh, we always we always work together closely, and they're an amazing company with such beautiful different varieties and coming out with new stuff on the market every time. Yeah, and always such a good quality. It's uh, so long lasting. So we have uh, Ethan Wang in the chat. He is an IMF alumni from uh, last uh, time, so he graduated in March, and he's telling you um, he's telling you that he'd be super nervous if he had to demonstrate in front of the camera. So uh, <laughs> he thinks you're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay with uh, with my nerves. Yeah, you don't seem to get uh, anxiety quickly, huh? No, I never do. <laughs> Why should I have uh, anxiety? Just not worth it. <laughs> we have this Would be lovely to have an off switch. Like, <laughs> uh, anxiety mode, uh, we'll just not today. <laughs> you can do it too, Mike. <laughs> Well, I have to say, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Like, um, 
the first time I was incredibly nervous and then the second time, you know, a little bit and then every time it gets less and less. Same with demonstrations in front of crowds. Yeah. Like the bigger the crowd gets, the nervouser you get, but after you've done for 200 people, then after that it's like, ah, uh, you know, it's not different, any different than 20 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, nice. We have another IMF alumni joining us. It's Ivo Mariska from the first year. He was my classmate. Oh, and, nice. Uh, he's saying the Gloriosa fits in very wonderfully. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your choice of colors? Yeah, I did choose this like very fast just now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's a good question, isn't it? So yeah, it is. Um, I uh, I first chose the Gloriosa color, mm -hmm. and then I saw these uh, clematis. Yeah. Um, uh, I always like them so much, and um, I also have this grass with the yellow. So I try to connect with uh, the yellow from the um, Gloriosa oh, very good. in there, and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty, a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I like to do it like that with also this face. It's a little bit darker. It's a bit autumn vibes. So, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense to me. And you got like a, a warm color. Maybe you're contrasting a little bit with your colder colors. You know, that's a nice balance. Yeah, yeah thanks. Um, we have Frederic Dupre coming in the chat. Our, our good, good dear friend Frederic. Hey, thank you for joining Frederic. Hello. Um, he's saying hello, the incredible Burma family. I'm preparing next week's class and watching the live at the same time. Cool, right? Oh, nice. <laughs> working hard. <laughs> Man, he's always working hard. Huh? He's always making so many nice uh, bases. Yeah, very inspiring. I'm looking forward to the to the master class. It's coming. Uh, Frederik is coming, I think, on Tuesday or Monday. Well, anyway, we booked the hotel, Frederik. Don't worry. That <laughs> I don't know from top of my head, but uh, we're prepping the class. The class on Thursday and Friday. There are still some spots available if anyone is in the Netherlands right now and thinking, ah, oh, I would love to learn bridal work from uh, Frederik. Well, definitely feel free to join in. Yeah. Now I'm, uh, I'm trying to connect the colors a little bit with this uh, Sanguisorba. It's um, a little bit between this and this. Oh so yeah, I agree. I good think choice. that will give a good connection with the colors. Nice. Ah, we got Roxy saying, you got me at the Gloriosa Lily. I love them oh. and about to grow about a hundred here in Michigan every summer. Oh, crazy. Nice. They're sleeping right now in storage as we're getting too cold. Oh, yeah, it's getting so cold there in the winter. I must dig them up every fall. That's a lot of oh, work. Oh, crazy. Yeah, that's so much work. But yeah, they're totally <laughs> worth it. I can imagine. Maybe I will try to put in some more this grass. Nice, yeah. way, nice way to bridge your colors like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be happy if I could grow Gloriosa too in Belgium. <laughs> well, you just need to build a greenhouse and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think the weather in Michigan isn't too crazy. Like, uh, like not really hot or anything, so... Yeah, Maybe true. we can do the same like her. Yeah. We just uh, dig them up every now and then. <laughs> yeah, it's the same with the dahlias. You also have to dig them up at home. So, let me see. I'm going to put in some more of this gloriosa. I think I'm almost ready. Let me try to put in. Ah, yeah, some ma amazing. Uh, yeah. Scabiosa, also margin par. I got them at the yeah. auction uh, this morning. Like 
And it's just a nice way to bridge again the color of the pink and the purple. Yeah. Huh? I think it goes pretty well. Yes, okay. Well, it's getting quite stormy in here. I hope the building stays. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So let me see. I think I'm almost ready. Lovely. Yeah, Let's I think the result is nice. Let me just put in some clematis more here. Yeah. The cool thing is you can have a nice, you know, you, you turn it around a little bit and you have a totally different perspective. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Make I like it more it asymmetrical. Always yeah, that's more great. a little bit asymmetrical, yeah, of there course. There you go. So if anyone in the chat has any questions at any time, feel free to ask them. Of course, Oliver is almost leaving us right now, but uh, <laughs> maybe you have a question, a general question. Uh, after Oliver will have Gina joining us from the yes. ground up floral yes you can find her on Instagram over there okay so thank you guys for uh, watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed yeah thank <laughs> you very much thank you for showing us Oliver we really appreciate it thank you thank yeah. you we'll bye bye take a picture later and they can find your uh, work probably on Ollie's flowers huh? On yeah Instagram. yeah on Instagram yeah. yeah you're doing a great job you just recently started that Instagram and every mm -hmm. every day you're posting something <laughs> right so you, you, you follow I'm trying to post a lot yeah. But it di it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's quite a task. Yeah. So yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Then Super. Sinsen will help you switch thank out you. with the microphone, and I'll come walking to the front so that it's not strange that no one's standing there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Like one more piece of wire. All right, no worries. So there we are. Thank you very much, Oliver. Yeah, we can bring this a little bit, and then I'll just kick this over to the side, and then I believe. Gina will be making a bouquet for us. So, how is it so far, guys? How are you guys enjoying it? Are you seeing some nice inspiration? Look how close I'm coming so all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I don't want to scare you. So, Sinsen is switching out the, the microphone with uh, putting it on Gina. And um, yeah, so please let us know if you're enjoying so far and have any questions because we're open for all of that. Um, actually, I just heard that uh, some some news but we'll we'll put that at the end of the of the stream so we have uh, had large room design today so we have some uh, some lovely work standing here that are made by Gregor which we will be uh, publishing at some point in the future I still have to go through <laughs> the works of the last time uh, the large room design but of course on our Instagram you can find some of the the older works already um, and we're posting regularly and as well as some things about the workshop or the actually not the workshop the masterclass with Frederic um, it's gonna be two days all about bridal bouquets and it's very interesting so there we have it there Yay. we have Gina I'm gonna grab yes. my flowers this is the rest of the stuff I need and but now that uh, Matthew pointed out that I that everyone always says all the way from Australia I, I want to say all the way from the US now <laughs> <laughs> all the way from Belgium all the way from the US you have a lot of people from a lot of places yeah yeah it's a really good mix of, uh, of students uh, right now and I think that's a nice way to give like a cultural exchange like we have some people from China from Taiwan absolutely the US so it's a it's a good mix of people okay. would yeah. you like the table here yeah that'd be yeah lovely. so Thank you. we'll put the table over here so <laughs> sorry for all the squeaky noises Squeak. here it comes <laughs> so not that i pull anything along all so right don't yeah don't pull the lights yeah we don't want to pull that Got it. okay that's we have perfect. the occasional accident so and i'll Hopefully. help you um, with this maybe we'll put this to the side a little bit so they can see yeah, yeah, i yeah. feel like this is taller than me all right there we go so put this here that's good yep all right you can see the so flowers. there you go. Yeah. Is this too high? Okay. No, it's, it's good. Just this little bit. All okay. right. So Gina, I'll just totally let you. Yeah, uh, no problem. Let you talk your talk. So thank you very much for doing the demo. Yeah. And uh, good luck. So I'm Gina. Uh, Gina Thresher. I am from the Seattle, Washington area. So I was really digging this um, bouquet that Gregor taught us. It's a uh, not glued, not wired. 
Um, I could probably get closer and show you, but uh, what we did is we basically drilled holes and this is pegged together like the uh, old fashioned carpenters used to use the pegs to make um, furniture. So um, yeah, definitely a very interesting structure. He called it the branch, uh, branch bouquet, uh, but it's going to be a hand tied bouquet. So we're going to start with, um, I like to start with the bigger flowers or the basing flowers. So we'll start here. And this is going to be, um, should I just throw it on the floor? Is oh, that okay? Or do you have garbage? <laughs> Stems go where? Yeah, yeah, you can just throw it for now. Yeah, okay. and, and Sin will help us with getting a bucket for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I don't want to make a mess. Well, not too much of a mess. It's a working hazard. Yeah, no, sh no tripping and falling on camera. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start basing with this color. So you can see the color palette I chose is, um, it's bright and happy, but I also pulled in the blues and the purples to mm. give it a really good um, blend. Yeah, very lovely. Yeah, it's a nice And I mix. like using these deeper down. Um, I use carnations a lot in my wedding work. I think they're a really lovely flower and they're especially good for color. Um, so if you need a nice bright pop of color, I like to tuck them down and they, uh, they really show off and they help meld everything together. Because yeah, they nice. come in a lot of different colors. They have that peach, the peachy color is a really good blending color. Yeah. Um, are, where are the carnations from, Mike? So um, the carnations in particular aren't uh, from uh, anywhere right now because okay. normally we work together with um, Media Verdi, a really, uh -huh. really lovely local uh, Diantus grower here. It's really just down the street. Just okay. take a corner in the corner and you're there. You guys are so lucky. Yeah, we're incredibly lucky. And they're a great family business. Mm. Um, uh, three generations wow. are working there right now at the same time. I've noticed that a lot of, um, a lot of the farms are family run. Um, did we go dark? Uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the at the button, but uh, we have the button here. Okay. So no, it's all good. But yeah, you're right. There's a lot of family businesses. Yes, um, I think that's that's wonderful. It's a really um, you kind of have to have a family business to run organizations like this. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, and the Media Verdi, they are growing um, in one half of the year, they're growing Viburnum, and the other half they're growing Dianthus, but it's the end of their season, so they're switching out right now. That's why uh, yeah. no Dianthus from them. But anyway, just want to give them a shout out because they're always very helpful. Yeah, that's nice that you have them so close. Um, and where are the rest of these lovely products from so we can talk yeah, about? Yeah, so you have that. almost the entire assortment. I know it's, I was uh, trying to get. Par, yeah. I was trying to get a lot of stuff. So we have the so we have the lovely uh, scabiosa, which is margin par. We mm -hmm. have clematis, it's margin par. We have yeah. astrantia, it's astrantia. also margin par. Yeah. Oh, this is a flower name test secretly. I know. I'm like this one, that one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the astrantia. Yeah. We've got sure. the clematis. The, yes, the clematis. From margin par. Okay, their clematis oh, is yeah. to die for. I yeah. they do this very well. Um, they last a very long time. We've had them in class for like the whole time. Right. And they've been beautiful. Yeah, they um, have so many varieties. It's yeah. crazy. It's an amazing product. Even the Oringium is from them. Yeah, I noticed that was theirs too. They've, um, they've really got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, they're diversifying in a lot of Oringium as well. And then the rose, it's the only thing from someone else. That's a Dacre, oh, the Dacre roses. Fresh. Dacre Fresh roses, yeah. And these little cuties are from him as well, aren't they? Oh, yes, you're right. Gosh, yeah, yeah, they're adorable. They're they just started using spray rose and They're these are so something else. Cute. Yeah, very nice. Oh, we have, um, well, Ista throwing a hearts in the chat Aww. for you. Thank you, Ista. And then we have uh, Janet saying fabulous arm armature, Gina. Yeah, isn't it fun? Janet Coroa, Cor Corao. I don't know, maybe it's a friend. Um, yeah, I think it's a I have a lot of flower friends, so maybe <laughs> a friend from now on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> and then we're having Charmony just saying such a great idea to do this live and involving the whole IMF crew. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's fun, isn't it? I'm sure you guys are like a big family and I'm excited to join. Well, you're already here, already inside. 
So see how much that really just, it makes it super interesting when you add in kind of an unexpected color. Mm. Um, this palette, uh, it reminds me of like berries. So I, when I do this color for brides, I call it um, berries because you've got blueberries and raspberries and strawberries. Yeah, very flavorful. Yes. It's always good when you can, um, you know, give the customer something that they can relate to. And I feel like when you give them a color palette that relates to food, it's very memorable for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're I glad to have you, Gina. Thanks. How are we doing on time? Are we doing okay? Uh, we're doing good. Good. Uh, I think... Maybe like uh, five minutes is that all right? Sure, yeah, I'm almost... So actually, Gregor wants to say something, so oh, okay. I'll, I'll move over to Mike yes, to Gregor. Yes, I'm over, I, Gregor. Uh, that is the good thing. All day we s <coughs> stay here together for the classes. And uh, so <coughs> I see now Gina is doing uh, a spiral. Mm -hmm. And what we teach here the, um, is actually that there are four different ways of making uh, a hand tied in terms of the handle. Mm -hmm. So that is also what um, they learn and uh, what they get to hear so that the, not only the shape of the bouquet itself is important, mm -hmm. that also how you add the stems together. So this is the four different ways. And I always make it loud enough when I make my own lecture demonstration and show them the different uh, stem, directions, the stem directions and all that. Yes, yes, yes. And Gina, what, uh, the good thing is about hers when I say that, that you see the structure, mm -hmm. but there is still at the end a dominance of the, the floral part, the flower part. And the structure is herbaceous and the flowers are, and it's a wooden and the flowers are herbaceous. Yes. Yeah, no, okay. No. Very nice, thank you very much. So thank you, Gregor. We have some more nice comments, Gina, about oh, your good. work. So prepare yourself for compliments. Okay, let's go. We have uh, Roxy saying wonderful depth and color. Thank you. Then we have Randy Stuff saying beautiful and informative and Thanks. sends you a heart. Aww. And then says, Gina, you are amazing. Thanks for sharing. Good. Thank you so That's much, you guys. Very sweet. So see, I'm trying to give this a little bit. You, you also want depth within your flowers. You don't want to put everything on the same plane. Um, so I kind of see how I've buried some of the stuff down in. It makes it super interesting. Um, the visual impact is just creates a lot more depth when you kind of have some coming further out and some going in. Uh, I did wire and tape some stuff. We may not get to that, but... Oh, it's all right. Maybe we stretch a little bit. A little bit? Okay. We can stretch a little bit. So the part you that I like cool is at the end there, here. So. All right, so I wired and taped a few branches and those are gonna go on top. And I'll show you how, after I add the clematis, of course, because we can't forget that. Mm. Oh, lovely ranunculus. Yeah, and they're just enough of a different color pink, like just a light variance. So what kind of uh, food would you say that recommend, reminds you of? Um, these, I, I think like raspberry, when I look at this. Yes. Yeah, maybe yeah, a little yeah. bit too bright, but I think maybe a currant or a raspberry probably. That's, that's what I would call that. Yeah. Looks like a piece of candy already. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just a few more pieces and then I will base it a little bit with some fall foliage. Nice. So. Gina also made a work like this in the first week mm -hmm. as a freestanding. Yes, this you was know? the freestanding, okay. Yeah. yeah. And the freestanding, and it was very solid standing, and mm -hmm. not just uh, that you were afraid to open the door and uh, the dog comes in through the back door <laughs> and then the wind goes through well, the house and this would fly around. No, mechanics are very really, important. Yeah. Really very steady, mm -hmm. and I think that is also a big challenge. It is, um, but I think it's very important to learn that. And, um, you know, when you learn from people like yourself and Mike, uh, it's easy to make something that's structurally sound and not going to fall apart when you give it to a customer. It's, like, very important. Okay, got the clematis in, so we're going to yeah, add a few more nice. pops of color. 
and we will ah, base it and get it done finished. Lovely, lovely. Just want to remind the people in the chat that at any point, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't be shy. Yeah, we're here for questions. So yeah. Come on down. All good. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there with a the color because we are ready to yeah, add the bottom. Very nice. Um, so you don't want your customers to see that. That's not really attractive. So what I'm going to do to make it a little more fall, and I really love the pink with the brown. It's kind of one of my favorite combinations. Yeah, nice. I'm just going to add this around. Yeah, looking at the rose hips, it reminds me that the rose hips, they are from rosefruits.nl. Yes, yeah. I, I follow them on Instagram. Um, he's got a lovely Instagram account if you, uh, if you want to see. They have green ones. I am, um, I'm very intrigued by the green ones. I've never seen that before, and I know a lot of people near me have not seen that before. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I'm very interested. Nice. Yeah, also what's nice is that um, earlier this week, they came in with such long ones. Like, oh, they were I beautiful. Know, I really wanted to make something fun with that. Um, I didn't get a chance to, but maybe, maybe in the future. Yeah, so if anyone wants this incredibly long rose, rose hip, yeah, you can order they are them with them so beautiful. like that. Okay, so now you want to cut it to a reasonable length. Okay, so now you can see it's, it's a finished off okay. I haven't bound it yet, but um, you know, there's nothing weird poking out. There's no holes for the customer to see. And this would be, um, like Gregor said, this would be the freestanding vase. So you would put it in the vase like this. And then to top it off, like the cherry on top, we're going to add some wired and taped branches that I uh, put Very on nice. here. And we're just going to put these in here to cover. Oh, yeah. And it just gives it a just totally different feel. Yeah, right? It creates so much depth. Mm -hmm. So good. There's one. We have Charmini saying, Fabulous, fabulous, love, love. Yay! And then suddenly <laughs> I'm retracting, glad you like it. But still saying fabulous. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. And this was my favorite branch. We went and forged this um, across the street. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. It's a fun one. So you just kind of put it on top, and it just kind of just gives it a nice little sheltered look. And it adds so much transparency and depth to it. So you could put it that way, depending on which way you wanted it to go. It could just kind of change the shape a little bit too. Like that. So there you go, that's the finished nice. bouquet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lovely. Ah, we have Roxy saying absolutely gorgeous and showering you with hearts. Oh, thank you so much. This has been so much fun. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. It's a great place to be. Yeah, it's lovely to see it. Thank you very much. All right. So I am finished. So I'll say goodbye. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, um, yeah. it's from the ground up floral or from the ground up floral underscore media. And yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just tell them the la tell you the last comment, the last compliments you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning structure, the combination between delicate Here. flowers and the sturdy branches. It depicts life. So All right. We'll get lovely. close up for you. Yeah. And we have Janet Corral saying the branches are the finishing touch. I'll just put a little light on the... Yeah. Oh, does that help? Okay. So, uh, yeah, if you want to show it closer to the camera, mm -hmm. yeah, they can see it. Yeah, lovely. Very nice. Oh, branches. Yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> cool. Yeah, nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. All right. So, turning on my microphone. Coming up next, we have, oh, hello, here I am. Coming up next, we have Ista. Yes, we are, actually, I have a big pedestal for you. Is it better or would you like on the table? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we have Ista. So Sin Sin is now behind the scenes helping out Ista to get the, the microphone on. So I'm just shifting some stuff around here in the, in the back in the meantime. And um, let's see. Oh, maybe actually we just put it on the table. Yeah, okay. it's probably easier. 
I think a bit closer because I have to show the details. Sorry? Maybe close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like this. Oh, interesting sounds that the table makes. So there we are. I'll just put a little cloth over the table so you see me walk away, but don't worry, we're still here. Sin mic'd you up real good? Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. All right, so I'll put this on the side. So Ista, you came here all the way from Oman. Yes. Yes, thank you. So please, yeah, feel free. So you... Um, Hello, everyone. You participated in the professional, the advanced, and the master. So you're here for like... Two months. months already, two yeah. months, yeah. you can say. Yeah, so. and um, this place has been almost like heaven on earth to me. <laughs> Feels like okay. home, honestly. Right. Um, let me grab welcome. my displacement. Yeah, and of course. I'll bring it to you. Okay, I'll bring it for perfect. you. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, Isla, we're very happy to have you. And you've been an I amazing can't student. It's actually the last Such day. a star pupil. Oh my God, it's already the yeah, last day. Yeah, the last day. day already, isn't it? So your lovely structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please feel free yeah. to work on it and talk about your story. I won't take too much of your time off now. So I'll be in the back. So okay. thank you. So here we have this beautiful vase. Uh, the point of displacement is using vases in different ways other than the traditional ways. So thanks to Mike, we practiced a lot to come up with these beautiful ideas, what we can actually do with displacement. And it's actually um, mind-blowing what we can do. Um, I started by making the spider leg and I don't want to just do a normal displacement where I place the flowers on the right or left. So I wanted to do something a bit crazy. Uh, I did this winding thing. So I started off from here, down there, had to wire everything, kind of hard, but yeah, I survived. <laughs> um, so let me start by placing some few flowers. Uh, I have some already there. Oh, we yeah, want to nice. accomplish the 358, which is a very important golden rule that we follow here. <laughs> okay. Um, let me start by placing these beautiful scapiosas. Uh, I'll just say that mm -hmm. uh, you have already uh, some people applauding you. Sharmini is giving hi, you Charmini. an applause and she's saying, go, come on, let's go, Ista. Uh, hi, <laughs> Sharmini, I miss you. And we're having Floriana also. She says, go, Ista. <laughs> you're, you have some fans already in the yeah. chat. Some lovely fellow students. They're actually the my beautiful team. friends. So um, something I'd like to explain here is that as you can see, the shape is going like this. So we need something to go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I have this cabiosa. It's like a connection and somehow. Mm -hmm. um, we have these um, asparagus. Yes, yes yeah. very good. <laughs> okay. Um, they can be used here in between to just connect the whole thing. Mm. I can do this later after placing my beautiful erinium. Yes. Mm. Yeah, also some lovely products from Margin Park. Oh, it's my first time to actually see gray ones. Oh, I've yeah. seen blue ones. These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're placing the asparagus. Yeah, so Ista, you mm -hmm. are on Instagram as Flowers by Ista. Flowers by Ista. Uh, make sure you guys follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I do for a life, promote my Instagram account. <laughs> right, okay. yeah, you have a lovely Instagram account. Post Thank a lot, you so right? Much. Yeah. So, this is the final structure. It's almost like a wave going in and out. We have depth, we have this coming out to mm -hmm. break the line. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Right then. Very nice, thank you. We have just one question yep. from Roxy. She's saying, is the 358 in reference to Fibonacci, the Fibonacci sequence? Yes, it is. Um, so we follow here in school, mm -hmm. what we learned is to follow 358 in almost everything we do. Yeah. Uh, starting from proportion of the base, proportion of the arrangement, we try to avoid repetition of the same size. Yeah. So if we have like, this can be one triangle, okay? Mm, this can yes. be the three, this can be the five, and this can be the eight. Yeah, very good. And um, this whole structure can be the eight, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this can be maybe the five. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, very perfect. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when you 
apply, when you apply that, it's really good for your asymmetry and exactly. such. Exactly. Yeah. It yeah. just works like magic. And once you start like um, working on 358, everything around you will make sense more. Right. It's interesting, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah, it's yeah. very interesting. Uh, you get a compliment from Roxy. She's saying, very graceful look. So, oh, mm. thank you. Thank you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Yes, yes. Flowers by <laughs> Flowers Ista. Flowers by Ista. Yes, please, okay. guys. Thank All you right. so thank much. Thank you very much, Ista. Yeah. Yes, we'll move you uh, uh, out and then Sinsen will help you with the microphone. And then yes. after that, we'll have one you. So I'll go in front of the camera so that it doesn't look like nobody's here. We're actually here. Don't worry. I will move around the stage a little bit so that when you has a nice base to work on. So there we go. Just don't worry. I'm still here. Oh, move this out of the way. Strange noises. There we go. Whoop. It's always a nice adventure doing the live streams. <laughs> but luckily so far so good, huh? We didn't have any strange technical stuff yet. So there we are. I got the base plate ready, the pedestal for Wenyu. Okay. So talking about where people are from. So Wenyu is uh, from Taiwan. Uh, some of you know when you already uh, when you is from Burma Institute Taiwan uh, but maybe when you can explain all of that himself the best we've been working closely together for 30 years yeah yeah indeed so very nice and now you are joining the master program so that it helps you for the teaching and yes. uh, helping the other students because when you helps all the students always very well, very motivated, very passionate. Yeah, we just brought uh, a group of Taiwanese students here. Yeah, yeah. And they really enjoy the courses here. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. And yeah. Especially by Mike. Well, thank you. Yeah, it was yeah. really fun having them in class. We did also displacement, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, some other styles uh, from linear. It was really, really fun to do. Mm. The students in Taiwan so motivated always. Really, yeah, I, I so think. So motivated. But they also be motivated by you <laughs> well, and the school you. here because um, <laughs> I think the school is getting better and better and mm. really improving all the different dimensions. Well, so I you. think the teachers and the students will also, also be mm. uh, leveling level, leveling up ah, thank yeah, you. By, <laughs> by the school. Yeah, I think yeah, it's just interesting and so good to see how many people in Taiwan are really like so into floristry. Yeah, so indeed. Nice. Just like Mike said, uh, yeah. in Taiwan, every time when we have a seminar or yeah. for have any activities usually yeah. hundreds of people yeah don't. it's really it's really it's like nothing else you've never yeah. seen some if you've never been to taiwan you've mm. never seen something like that i think and Just taiwanese uh, students really like to learning a yeah. lot yeah and uh, to uh, boosting their knowledge and also yeah, yeah. the skills yeah it's really visible mm. really visible so i won't take too much of your time uh, you have this amazing displacement here and you have some of the beautiful yeah, flowers. flowers. So, I will so I'll give the stage to you okay. since you mic'd you up real well. So yeah, you can please feel free to so, talk about okay. it. I can put this a little bit more to the to your front so that you okay, can put your flowers there. Okay, so I can there. put my things here. Yeah, maybe i move it to the side a little bit so that it's not in front of your structure. And okay. maybe we move this a little bit further to the back so that everyone can see yeah, the lovely yeah. arrangement. You can okay. choose the angle that you want. Okay, I think this angle is perfect. Yeah, nice. So Thank from you. this right. uh, frame, everyone can see it's uh, made by the bamboo sticks and um, to make like a, a, a line. So this design is really like a parallel but more vertical side. And uh, so I think today I would like to say more about the techniques because I'm really learn a lot a lot from Gregor about these technique things. In Taiwan, I was not um, very uh, motivated to learn these things, but here, when I'm here, I know this is the basic for your design. If you want the design really like what you want, you really need these techniques to support you. Without this, uh, I think it can be much, much more difficult and maybe not that neat and yes. beautiful as it you should be. So let me talk about uh, these techniques. I think we learn a lot about the uh, wiring, the uh, wrapping these uh, uh, wires uh, by the uh, paper wires. Mm. And uh, I think uh, in this uh, work, the most difficult part is the, this uh, dog fit, how to fit to the, this uh, 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 wood lock. Wood lock. 
I think uh, so. Just uh, show a bit how the Gregor told me. Yeah, good. Nice. Uh, the way because he he knew I'm quite junior for these technique things, so he told me a way quite um, suitable for me is quite easy and and can be done very quickly. Mm, nice. So uh, you just put uh, your dog feet here. Everyone yeah. can see it. Yes. And just make a U pin as we usually do. So it's not really have no, nothing uh, technical challenge for any students, even in Taiwan, the uh, primary student can do this. Mm. Okay, sorry, uh, the wire is here. So you just put the uh, uh, U-pin uh, under this uh, dog feet and just uh, hem it. So when you think it's uh, deep enough, because uh, there are a few of these uh, uh, sticks. Yeah. So you just uh, uh, put uh, this uh, wire uh, beside them. So then you uh, feel it's, uh, hem, it's already hand uh, deep enough. Sometimes it might be uh, tilted a bit, but you just um, make sure it's uh, really uh, be deep. Then you just uh, just use uh, your sprank to make it a bit like a u-shape then you can uh, hand again uh, you can do it quite powerfully to make sure it's totally fit into the the wood lock but no worry because uh, you can see it's quite quite visible right yeah but later uh, you, you can uh, glue some, uh, put some glue uh, on it, and also use the wire, uh, the paper wire to uh, decorate it. So you will cover it without any issues, and it's quite easy and quick. <laughs> yeah, but of course, Mike told Very me good. another way oh, yeah. to drill it, and also put this uh, feet directly into the hole on the lock. And this is I will practice next time. Yeah, nice. so we are from the beginners then to the more advanced. So now I'm talking about this, uh, this design because it made by these uh, bamboo, uh, bamboo sticks. So it's going up and like a, a straight direction. So it's quite a vertical. So I will um, um, put the flowers because I found this uh, acapenta yeah, uh, yeah. very beautiful. And uh, I make it like a in this place but because um but the, for the pro proportion it cannot be too high because the the most beautiful hanging part is this so you can be just the three but this is eight oh, so uh during the course i always be uh, uh i always be memorized myself or uh other uh, classmates, I think it's a very good learning group mm. about the proportion because before I never really uh, put that in my mind. I just do it uh, by my way. But I found if you really uh, put the proportion in your mind, I think your works will not be too out of the order or yeah. it can be keep a basic beauty. Yeah, so agree. it's a very important. I think already a lot of classmates mentioned this. Then I, I think about this uh, dientas, uh, because dientas is also very elegant. And um, for this color, it's not only green, it's a bit uh, red woody. Yeah, yeah. So we can connect it with this uh, uh, structure also. So I put the dientas here. Yeah. So we also have... Um Charmini is saying that you have a very cool structure there. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I also change the it's directions. It's a nice compliment, Charmini. Yeah, it's better, like this. And uh, uh, also, the uh, Greg always mentioned that connecting is very important. So this is the reason we need to um, get more used to this, uh, like, a red, uh, how to say it? Say it? Uh, Ras Ras Palace, uh, Rosales. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, two different kinds of the Rosales, and this is a very good way to connect your works. 
So uh, I think this is the quite uh, important uh, to make this whole works can be the one, not just the uh, separate upside part and downside part. So this and also uh, resupplers can make your works longer or yeah, uh, much uh, to extend the proportion. Yeah, so it's very important. So I also put the resupplers here. Okay. Could you say it again? Receptless. This is a recept. Rip, rip, yes, yeah, so this also we need to learn about these academic names of these uh, plants. And I'm still preparing for, for this. So uh, in Taiwan, you always use the Taiwanese names. So this uh, is all And the very uh, common name. So they even not really have any academic backgrounds. They just uh, brought up a name from any inspiration. So it's really not good for learning about the plants. So I think the training here really made us a more professional and can be understand the whole floristry's uh, histories. I think uh, uh, my works uh, is similar like this. And I put a little bit asters so it can me make the colors a bit uh, different from the uh, pure uh, green and white. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. You got a compliment also from Janet. She's saying well executed structure, perfectly balanced. Okay, yeah, I think it's quite balanced. This is what I keep uh, reminding myself to make it balanced. And this is really challenging for the, about the physics way. Yeah, you're right. So when I was a student, I was always scared about the physics. But I think I now I need, really need to face it and just make it right. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Wen Yu. I really appreciate it. Thanks yeah. a lot. So we're gonna then switch around yet again we don't know who's coming next do you know yeah. when you no one knows i uh maybe kodai yeah maybe we can get kodai inside okay so thanks we'll thanks for your viewing and uh yeah i hope everyone can visit taiwan it's a beautiful country yeah, i think I mike agree. agree right and I we also have a agree. lot of flowers oh and the orchids foods. oh my and god food. all the fruits <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah thank so you very enjoy. much thank you yeah. 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 Are you the Good next? job. So that was when you from Taiwan. We work together often. So if you um, check out my Instagram, Mike Burma Floral Design, uh, you can see some reels from uh, uh, last spring. I don't post enough. Really, I don't post enough. I should post more. But on the reels, you can see the, the classes in Taiwan. Uh, this was oh, the class a lot. that we were holding I'm for the nervous. 30th anniversary, like I said before. But I tried to really represent what you told Taiwan, me, share with uh, other relationship with the Still Burmese speaking? Holland. So it was a very special time. My mother and I went no, together. We did demonstrations and we did a class. And I think um, I demonstrated some um, boho-esque asymmetrical bouquet. Um, and then late, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, they came here again uh, to the school uh, to study. And I have some videos of that as well. Um, right now, maybe guys, you can come through here actually. Yes, sure. just, uh, yeah, 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 it's all right. So we have Oliver helping out Kodai and we have an incredible structure here, which is quite difficult to move. So I'll just move some stuff on the side for them. Yeah, so Oliver and Kodai, they're hanging out a lot together. Yes. <laughs> I see them go to bars and uh, we've been out together to, for dinner together as well. Highly motivated students. It's a crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Simpson will help Kodai with this microphone. So already, <laughs> just look at it, very nice. So Kodai is coming from Japan. Close to Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Kodai, you came here also, the professional course, the advanced course, and the master, just yeah. like uh, East Style, like you're here for two months whole already. Yeah? Whole, almost a whole three months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, in between, you went to Peter Boykins, like my grandpa's old student, to work in a flower shop. You're working in a flower yeah. shop on the <laughs> weekend. You're very hard working all the time. It's really impressive. So, uh, 
Yeah, yeah and I really appreciate that opportunity <laughs> to yeah. go there as well. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. So I don't want to take up too much of your time okay. uh, because yeah. you have this lovely work that you can uh, that you can describe and talk about. Yeah. So uh, I would say uh, good luck. I will, I'm just over there. Yeah. So if the people have any questions about your work or want to give you compliments because they're very kind people, yeah. Uh, then yeah. Actually, I didn't take it off anything. Oh, well, anything. then we'll just talk about it. Yeah. You can just talk about it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Like your th thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. Because this work you made during the Emotions Day, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that day is an Emotion Day. So the usually every day is like a more technical mm. uh, day. But the emotional is, with, for me, it's yeah. one of the important things as a florist make like a uh, more our make a different our character uh, yeah. for each other so and then I really like that lesson because uh, uh, the techniques that we have a lot of big names so yeah. <laughs> that's why uh, the a little bit the, for me a little bit afraid of that this mm. challenging mm. but emotion day I really like uh, philosophy or something like that so that's why yeah. okay Let's try to do it. Yeah, <laughs> and good. And at the day, I got the uh, optimistic yes. optimism yeah. as a title. And then the first of all, the, my order is like just write down the the some some word comes from optimism. Yeah. And then I write down the open and bright mm. smiles mm. and round. Yeah. So this is all. All things comes from my optimism yeah. image and then I choose the color and then the structures mm. and then the here is water the water is uh, like my image is like pure the most pure things is water yeah so that's what underneath is pure things mm. and then but optimism people can do any situation mm. being optimistic optimistic yeah yeah so this is a, a lot of situation yeah here and then going to here mm -hmm. then get more uh mild yeah with their smile yeah this is my whole image yeah very good and then then comes here to mm. like, like open again the yeah. spread again yeah so this good. is my uh yeah. yeah i love the philosophical thought behind it and you know what i thought funny yeah. was that I put all these emotions on the cards, yeah. right? And it's random. Uh -huh. And you got optimism, and your name is like a big smile, right? You explain to oh, me. Oh yeah, that my name is Happy and Big. Ah uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really it fits with optimistic. Yeah, <laughs> Man, <laughs> I yeah. like that so much. So I'll just go and look in the chat, see what people are saying, because right. maybe people are saying something. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, yeah. we have a couple of people saying something. Um, uh, let's see. Ooh, yes, yes. We have Roxy saying that you have a very awesome structure in there. Oh, so thank you lovely. so much. We have Janet saying. We have Janet saying a complex, interesting design that you've mm -hmm. made. So that's very kind too. Yeah. And Charmini said interesting and wonderful structure, yeah. uplifting and hopeful. And she says. <laughs> thank you, Charmini. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So I think it's very nice. Can you maybe tell a little bit about the rhythm in your design? Maybe like the, where is the repeat? Uh, the here, the here is the focal. Most of the focal color is orange, because of comes from smile. Yeah. But it's not like a strong, strong orange. I want a more mild orange here, and then the here to here the three. Ah uh, yes. And then here to here is the, the longest eight. Ah uh, no, five. Yeah. And then here to here is the eight. Ah yes, so I agree. I put the uh, the golden rose yeah. on it, and then the base is also make it three, mm. two, one. Yeah, and then yeah, here's yeah. smaller, big, and smaller. The five uh, proportions here. Makes sense. And three, five, eight. Yeah. Three, five, eight. Good. And then this one also the three, three, and then five and then eight proportions. Everything's nice. uh, focus on the uh, golden loose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, you mm -hmm. did a great job there. 
you got some more comments coming in for you yeah. we have uh floriana saying wonderful bravo Kodai. <laughs> thank you Floriana. <laughs> we have roxy saying very intriguing design yeah love the flower choices together thank you so much and then we have frederick dupre our french uh, friend mm -hmm. uh, he's saying very good work good balance well done oh my god thanks so that's so nice thank yeah, you guys I'm for so the kind words it's i'm a, so appreciate i agree it's such yeah. a lovely balance i'm really impressed with like the speed of growth that you've been through like also, also with, with, with oliver and but of yeah. course i can see like uh, every time you grow so much and i was really impressed with this uh because you your story, the philosophy is correct. And yeah. then you have all of these different things that it's coming from. It's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of thought and uh, yeah. effort put into this design. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ah, you get, all right, last, last thing before we're moving on to the, to the next person, because I don't want you, because you are in the other room and you have to make other work as well. Eh? You're in a team <laughs> yeah, together with Angelica. Exactly. We have Hirwan from, uh, from the professional course. He's mm -hmm. saying, oh, uh, yeah, hi, yeah. everyone. It's here one from the Den Haag. So. <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, he says, it's absolutely beautiful, Kodai. Job Thank well done. I Thank didn't expect so anything so less from you. <laughs> Thank That's you so, so much. I'm That's so kind. I'm so happy with <laughs> everyone's comment. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, I think we took a nice picture of this, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Already. Yeah. So you'll, you'll be able to post it on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. So what is your Instagram that people can follow you? Uh, just check it. Yeah. Maybe S. Uh, dot Kodai K O D A I. Ah, yes, S dot code Kodai K O H D A. Uh, K O H. Nice. I'm just check this spelling. Yeah. So I will be. Yeah. Um, after the video is ended, I will tag everyone's Instagram so mm -hmm. that you can follow everyone here. So yeah. if you're watching at home, that you can follow them. So guys. S S dot K O H D A I. Ah, very good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I'll help you move the design out of the way. Yeah. And then we have another lovely student coming in. You can leave the pedestal. Oh yeah, we're leaving the pedestal there. We're just moving. Oh, maybe actually Oliver can help you. <laughs> I need to do three things in a row. <laughs> yeah, we're putting you hard at work, huh? <laughs> the young one. Of course. Young men have You're, to work have, harder. How do you call it? Uh, I don't know what's that in English. The, the hazing. The hazing of Oliver. <laughs> so, yes. All right, I'll come over come and help back, you huh? with this. Yes, yes. So, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, coming in with another amazing work. Yes, we're... Yes. So, we have Anahit over here. All the way from the US yeah. as well and then oh look at that it's perfectly positioned already oh, maybe we put it a little bit to the back so that people can see a bit the, more the tail of it yes. yeah and then I hit you will get mic'd up by oh, okay. by sin not by me okay, got it. <laughs> mic'd up by Mike up. Yeah. <laughs> yes so then we have on the so well uh, I'm uh, kind of distracted by pocket. what's all going on but uh, Anahit is an amazing uh, florist from the US um, she did uh, I think th Anahit you did the EMC program right yes I did yes she already did the EMC program so she's already well advanced and now she is here to learn with Gregor so and I think she surprises every day with the lovely works and uh, now she'll be here to demonstrate for you. So if you have any questions for Anahit, please feel free to do so. And uh, you know, you can let us know in the chat. You can talk about her work or ask questions about anything. Um, I think it's a lovely work. Also, this was the displacement day. So just before we saw the work from Kodai, it was from the emotions day, though he even made a displacement, which is really funny. Uh, but this is really, really from the displacement day. So, and we have the materials in front of us already, ready for Anahit to work from. And then we're having Anahit come in over here. So I'll just stand Hello. in front for one second. So yes. thank you very much for doing the demonstration. Oh, I'm, and, I'm uh, excited. I'm very uh, yeah, interested to hear what, what you're going to talk about. And I don't want yes. to take up too much of your time. So I'll no, quickly good. leave the scene. Sure. I'm just going to make a luck. few adjustments here. Okay. So there you go. 
I am, you can tell, straight out of workroom and, you know, about to go back to workroom right after this. So this was probably one of my favorite pieces to actually, uh, th that I did during this two weeks. Um, needless to say, there is, Gregor is a wealth of information. I mean, it, and Burma has been so inviting that I kind of don't want to go home. You know, well, you can I stay. I have to, <laughs> but it's, you know, I'm excited actually for March. I just can't wait. So um, with that said, um, why is this piece my favorite? First of all, um, I don't think I've made a true displacement piece really before. And this was the topic, right? So that was um, both a little bit uh, like eh, nerve wracking and exciting all at the same time. And the inspiration behind this piece really came from this gorgeous glass ball. I mean, can we talk about this oh, for a minute, yeah, it's right? So nice, isn't it? This is Burma special here. This is so amazing. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, that's it. That that's that's the one. Gotta and get that one. I'm not sure if you can kind of really your camera is not picking this out probably, but it's actually handmade glass. There's a lot of in, imperfections within. There's mm. a lot of texture within the glass, and the color. There's so much gorgeousness going on, and it's so glossy. I'm like, all right, so what do we do with this thing? So mm. obviously, it's so large. You needed another large companion piece to go with that, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and as soon as I saw this amazing wool, um, and this is um, Elena wool. Yeah, you're you right. know, this particular one is vintage. Let's see, what was the color? Cordell vintage, and such a good color. Look how beautiful that is, right? Yeah. Like just a, it picks up from it, but then texturally, it's so different. Right, so between the gloss next to that shiny gloss, this rough, woolly texture, mm. that contrast is really, I wanted to kind of showcase this, that yeah. a little bit. At the same time, again, unfortunately, I don't think camera's picking those details up. If you come close to it, that little woolly, that fuzzy texture, this glass actually has a little bit of that in it. Oh, so yeah, there's yeah. this like connection, which was just so beautiful, I thought. Um, and again, the color, I mean, you know, can, I can't stop talking about it. It's just so beautiful. So, um, and of course, this all dictated the entire mood of the piece. And it mm. was very kind of calm, a little bit nautical, if you will. Um, oh, yeah. You know, and why the wool? You know, the way I kind of saw this, this is sort of a seaside, but off season, right? Mm, a little yeah, bit yeah, more in the winter, it. right? That, that was the, the theme behind it. Um, as far as before we finish the piece, there are a few flowers that need to still go in there. We, we took some out so we can kind of show you, you know, how they were, you know, inserted and so on. Um, and uh, before I get there, actually, one of the other challenges that I sort of um, created for myself on purpose, I wanted mm, to do this yeah, and I wanted yeah. to see if I can accomplish this, was to create this like really 3D depth within mm. this one really flat disc, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And um, oftentimes you'll see designs that are two discs, right, to create that dimension. For sure. What I really wanted to do is create that dimension with actual floral products and, you know, with the placement of the product and the movement within the branches and so on, instead of the actual physical decorative element. So when I'm done with this, I can actually spin it so you can see it from the side. And mm, there's quite nice. a bit of depth going yeah, on yeah, in here yeah. as well. So, um, I mean... You know, the little lovely, you know, Gregor special cloche technique, right, obviously, uh, going on to just really heavy vase that is really heavy and it's filled to the rim with water to balance this massive for weight. Sure. For balance purposes, we learned that the hard way. This, this disc was beautifully suspending. It was like nice little cantilever design. Then we realized that slowly but surely it was kind of going down. Learning moment here, right? So know the weight of like the, the limitations of your product how much weight can it hold so that was really helpful mike's like you need a leg i'm like yeah you're right mm -hmm. so then he came up with this beautiful bamboo um, that kind of disappears in the background really but it gives that support so we had to tie this and keep it elevated otherwise you know yeah, it'll so kind of nice. eventually kind of go down anyways so as uh, the actual um, structure here is really simple. I figure I'll show you some of the simple things here, right? You basically take a ring. Obviously, this is a smaller version of this, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to wrap the wool around, right? I'm not going to bore you with that. You guys can do this. Come on. So, but once you finish doing that, all you do is just literally just go around the ring, spin it around. You got to loop it around so it kind of, you know, holds it and uh, tightens it. And just basically keep going like this, different directions. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no perfection here. What we're going with is this uneven, rough texture. So if you actually stress about perfection, it's going to look very 
it's already decorative and man made, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. going to take that element of a little bit of that roughness away. So you don't want to do that. Mm. So that's basically the ring. I mean, that's super simple. And thanks to, uh, thanks to the Lena Wu um, people, that was really amazing. So the other For thing sure. I want to show you how I made, which uh, were one of my favorite elements in this design, are this, you know, little yarn balls that are just kind of hanging. And the effect here was really, you know, this is this kind of gives you that unfinished feel almost a little bit, right? I mean, I kind of like did this seaside and I just sit down, it's raining outside to get a cup of coffee or something and it's just kind of hanging there, you know. It just gave it this yeah, very it interesting works. look, right? So um, basically, I just grabbed some raffia. Honestly, you can take crumbled paper, cellophane, anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be all made out of wool. You can do that too, but A, it will be a little bit heavier. Also, a little more expensive because linen wool costs more than raffia, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap some of this raffia. Um, I took, you know, Oasis aluminum wire that was actually the same color as the wool, which mm. made it even easier. You're just going to wrap it around, make it into a nice little bowl. I mean, this is a really messy bowl, so I'm sure when you do it, it'll be a lot nicer. This is just a quick example of this, right? And then you're going to take this beautiful wool and just, oops, just wrap it around it until you don't see any more raffia, right? Mm. Once you're done, what I've done, I've taken more of that aluminum wire and wired around it so it actually held it tight, uh, you know, intact, so it didn't kind of un unravel. Um, although it looks like it kind of almost unraveled from the actual structure, right? Um, and just kind of let it hang, right? Yeah, yeah. The other thing was that little tails that we added, um, that I added at the end. That was kind of a fun, fun thing to do. There is no wire in this uh, liner wool, and I couldn't quite create movement with it that making it look like that waviness in it. Mm. But it actually has uh, several um, layers of strings in it. So by pulling one of the strings, just a little bit. Yes, there's no wire in it. You don't have to wire it. But you can all of a sudden get that th wool that's oh, like yeah, that's hanging super straight, like very static, but just give it a little bit of that extra, you know, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there you go. That was that was sort of um, as far as the structural structural components um, go um, for the piece. As far as the flowers go, uh, again, uh, the theme was very. Um, more monochromatic than anything else, right? Kind of greens, more little bit of whites, that cool um, feel of it, which is why I've chosen, um, you know, the type of um, plants, plant materials, and so on that uh, that is here. But of course, as you look at the piece right now, it looks nice, but I feel like it needs maybe just a few more layers, right? Um, so let's kind of put those layers back in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Mike, do you have any questions? Yeah, we got some nice comments in here. Uh, we have Roxy saying, oh my, with lots of exclamation, explanation, exclamation part, points. Oh my god. All right, god. I'll take them. That's take so them hard. All. Thank and you. She's saying, that is an amazing design. Thank you. And we have Baltimore47 saying, yeah, Anna hit. And that's my husband. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and we got Janet. I'll take the support, though. <laughs> well, you know, all the comments, all the right. comments, take them. <laughs> Janet Corral saying, love it, whimsical, fun, Thank happy Thank display. You. Fantastic. Thank you. We have uh, Sam saying, wow, this is so beautiful. And we have Sharmini saying, love the geometry and the combination of materials. Thank you. Thank you. Those are entirely two nice cam comments. I love it. Yeah. Such nice people in the chat right now. Yeah. So the reason I'm putting this two scabiosas in the back, um, you know, as, as funny as it is, you can barely see it almost, right? But it is so important. What it does, it actually, once we complete the piece, you'll see it kind of brings that white color full circle almost, right? Your eye kind of travels, and then with the greens, it kind of travels back down. So without it, it almost feels a little bit more static and unfinished. This just adds a little bit more, that, more of that gentle movements to it, right? Um, I like designing in a way that there are this almost like... Um, layers and shades and things. I love designs that make you want to peek in yet another time, right? So when you see a design and you're like, oh, this is cool, and you've seen it all, it's a little bit, what Gregor likes to say, boring, you know? 
it's beautiful, right? You see a lot of those designs. But when you see a design, you're like, wait, what is that? And then you look at it again, and then you go back, and then you look at it again, and you see something else. Those are the type of designs I really genuinely like making. And this was, of course, no exception, which is why you know I wanted to make sure that there were many layers to it, right? Um, of course, the depth was a bigger component to it as well. So, all right, let's add, add a little bit of this beautiful fern. Mike, what variety is this? Plebodium Blue Star. There you go. So, I'll write that in the chat. Thank you. All right. So, so what, what this does, it's the, it has this kind of dusty gray finish, which works so well with all of the blues that we have going on For here sure. within the wool. And all, it's just, it kind of ties it all in together, I think, really. Um, and of course, we need a little lace veil to go over top of this. And mm. this is where um, this Ripsalis, right? Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that's right. beautiful Ripsalis. Look at this. Oh, I think Ripsalis capillaries, is that the variety? Ooh, there you got me. I got Mike. There you go. <laughs> We need Gregor for this one. All right, so let's add one more. I just like calling everything Ripsilus. Sure, so, sounds, sounds great. But notice how, how much more depth it actually brings to the arrangement, right? Um, for sure. Again, creates one of those things. Again, you look at it from the front, you're like, oh, okay, this, this is nice. And you're like, wait, what's that in the back? And then it kind of makes you want to come close to it and really kind of dig in a little bit. So I hope I've accomplished that. For sure. It's a lovely, yeah. amazing design, I think. Yeah, everything, everyone yesterday was also really impressed. Yeah. Such well, thank a, you. Such a nice work. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank All you right. very much. Thank you I don't know how much time I had, how much time yeah, I have I left. So I'm like, oh, okay, there you go, think show's it's over. Perfect like that. No, no, no. There you go. Good. I'm going to just spin around to show the side and yeah, then we're good to go. Do, yeah. yeah. All right. That I can do by myself, but it takes three people to move this piece. <laughs> right. Back. All right, so here you go. I think everyone in the chat also enjoyed it. So if you like this design, just uh, let us know and look I'll uh, tell Anahit after. That's literally from the side and look how much more depth you actually get with this, right? Mm, so anyways, For sure, for sure. Go. So lovely, lovely. So thank, thank you very you. much. I'll come and help you. Now I need two more people. <laughs> So, you ready? Good, good. I'm ready. All right. There we go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Got the hands it's underneath. It's really not that bad. <laughs> uh, it's just mostly that bottle. The bottle is heavy, very heavy. The rest is nice. All right. All right. So, we, we didn't leave you guys. We're still here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, thank you very much. Anja, uh, Thanks, Anja, guys. Sorry, Sin will help you <laughs> with the microphone. And then yes. I take a sip of water. So. The, I'm gone for a little bit, don't worry. But it's we need good. a little water. Because I couldn't say exclamation mark, so that means I need to drink a little water. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna clean my mess. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. So, mm -hmm. excuse me while I take a sip of water. I'll just take another one. So, and um... Should I take Next up, we have Sarah. Sarah is from Indonesia. And she made a lovely displacement yesterday. There you go. Sarah, you also joined in for the advanced course. Yes, so you're last here month, also yes. in like two months, huh? Yeah, almost. So, uh, yeah, actually, which makes me think, yeah, indeed, Ista is actually, was actually here for three months. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking like two months, but no. professional. Yeah. Yes. So you made a lovely work. We'll, we'll put a little bit more to the back so that people can see the, the entire structure. And I'll okay. turn some light on there a little bit more because you have such a lovely displaced work. Yeah. Let's see. And we need to see it all. There we go. To talk mm -hmm. after Anna hit is really intimidating, actually. Ah. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. <laughs> I mean, yours is also very lovely. It's mm -hmm. a smaller proportion. It's, mm -hmm. But it's still very uh, technically lovely, and okay. uh, you have a lot to show about that, and it, I think it's great. So, okay. <laughs> no, no, uh, no stress. So okay. I don't want to take up too much of your time, mm -hmm. because uh, of course we all have just a limited proportion. So uh, yeah, okay. please feel free this to talk about it. This arrangement is actually from the class yesterday, when we learn about displacement uh, arrangement. So this is kind of like a new things to me, and. 
frankly, this is just my second time. The first time I did it in an advanced course last month. And, uh, but it's very interesting, actually, because you, with the displacement uh, arrangement, you're not having the flowers really inside the container mm. as a traditional way. So you can uh, design anywhere your flowers want to be. Yeah. And for this one, I choose to be in a, maybe like a front underneath, mm. a little bit underneath of the uh, uh, the fuzz here. So this is, it's a bit strange color here actually, <laughs> because it takes me forever to put the sand in a very little mild fuzz yeah, yeah. here. So uh, mix it with water, but it's end up quite good as well. Yeah. So yeah, with uh, for the flowers with the tubes, I made a special cushion cushion here mm. because it's very fun to do it, and you actually can choose any material to you you want to put in mm. inside, and uh, you can even put colors. So mm. yeah, remember Mike when you asked me when if you want to do the brown one, yes. go with the brown one. This is actually I inten intentionally, intentionally make to do this. Yeah. I want to show the green mm -hmm. because the green from the bottle and then yep. this. Okay, and um, good choice. Yeah, and I make a rebar here and to connect it with the cushion. And uh, the first thing I do is actually to make the link mm. to um, to bridging f the yep. bridging from the container to the uh, cushions. Yeah. So uh, I, I made a wire, uh, the wire here for the wire arm, sorry, for the branches, so the branches come coming down. And here I put the lepi, Gregor actually told me before, oh. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> no worries. The branch, I don't know, because I found it in the front yard. Yeah, 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 yeah it's just growing in the wild here. Dried, yeah, and this is, I think, a lepisium. Yeah, lepismium. Le lepismium. Yeah, lepismium. Uh, uh, it's family of the, yeah. it's a family of like the ripsalis, so it's like another cactus kind, yeah. lepismium, you're right. Yeah. And I put a little bit of the leaf from the uh, spatil, from the peace lily. I call it peace lily. Ah, spatifilum. Like spatifilum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. So shall we start with the? Of course, please flowers? go ahead. Yeah, you have some lovely flowers already prepared. If you want, we can put. Oh, sorry, in my big head in front. You can put the flowers there, and yes. then uh, yeah, you have um, easy access. Sorry. So Sarah, you are also on Instagram, right? Yes. Your uh -huh. is Sarah Flower Sarah Journey. Sarah Flower Journey without H. Without H, yeah. yes. And uh, okay, I prepared the tubes, mm. and the tube is got a, like a hu uh, hook in oh, the back. Good. But what I did, I put still glue there, mm. a, a hot glue, yeah. so it fix more uh, strongly. Strong, yeah. Mm. Very okay. Good. And uh, I will start to put this. Chasmantium. Mm -hmm. Yes, from Martin yeah. Par. From yeah. Martin Par, yeah. Put it in the back here because I really Isn't like the, nice? the dancing. They like dancing, mm. you know, like. Yeah, very happy. Chasmantium is always nice to add some movement and yes. it's like a droopy yes, that's grass. Right. So nice. And they're quite last, yeah? Yeah, they last a long mm -hmm. time. I think every time you put out chasmantium and someone sees it for the first time, everyone's always like, oh, this is nice. I yeah. never hear anyone say that it's not nice. Yeah, that's right. So I prepared the uh, tube as well in the back. Mm. So I can put, I choose more the active flowers. It's because this one is already like round shape, round shape. Yeah. So. Good choice to contrast a little bit. Yep, and this uh, Astil Bay. Mm -hmm. I forgot the, the no, Latin yeah. names. Oh no, Astil Bay is the is the Latin name. You're good. Oh, you're okay. doing well. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we're lucky, and then the common, well, it's not the common name, but then it, then like the name we usually call it is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like in English, people say hydrangea. That's also the Latin oh, yeah. name. Okay. Yeah. Of course, the, the the Romans didn't pronounce it that way, but. And I use the spatifilum flowers here. Like everyone know in the class, I don't know why I always choose pink flowers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes something just attracts. 
yeah. attracts you. Yeah, and I have Nerin here. So I uh, choose more like an airy fl type flowers uh, because I still want to show the cushion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, you put in all that hard work, yeah. you don't want to hide it too much. And I prepared the upside down one here, mm. so I can have a nearing down here. Mm -hmm. So, we'll zoom in a little bit. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Yeah. And I have the San Pedesha, mm -hmm. yes. the color lily here, so that we can have a nose, that's what Gregor said. Yeah. Go to the front. You're right. Having a nose to create some depth is really good. Yeah. So I'd like to exposing the flowers here, so not to not to crowd, not too many flowers here, mm. so we can still see the beauty of one by one flowers here. So. Yeah. yeah there you it's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. I mean. Yeah. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I never seen uh, something like this before in Indonesia, so mm. I probably want to. Yeah. share there and to do more of displacement arrangement yeah i think mm -hmm. it gives you such unlimited possibilities yeah. right yeah. i mean floristry is all about endless possibilities and creativity That's but right. then when we get these new techniques and these new styles yeah. it's like opening up so much for us so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i think they would love it over there mm -hmm. as well and it's a good thing okay. to experiment yeah thank you very much thank you very much sarah thank you perfect thank you very much yeah so um, i'll just just double check if anyone is saying Anything I in the chat? Song Thai. Ah, we have Frédéric Dupré say, giving you a thumbs up. Oh, so thank that's you. That's very kind of you, Frédéric. Thank you. So I'm going to help you move this out of the way. Or the bottle, is that all right? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, if you could take the pedestal, or would you like to take the bottle? Which is better? Uh, just the bottle. That's okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going to all right. Thank you very thank much. You. And then thank who will be the next oh, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've had so many people yeah. already. Don't we have everyone? I do believe there is at least one more person. Actually, there's two people. So, yes, we've got a very important person for me. <laughs> um, let's ta take a look. We need a base uh, that's longer. So, I'm sorry, I'm leaving you for a second. I'm here, but we need a lower flat plate. Do we have a lower flat plate somewhere? Y'all? Lower flat plates? Okay. Because otherwise it's not gonna fit. I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm still here. But I'm looking around for a lower flat plate. Yeah. Ah, I see already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the next person who is going to do a show and tell of uh, their work. It's actually Angelica, my partner. So I'm very proud that she's in the class. We were thinking like, ah, oh, this option is here for you to join the classroom. So why not, huh? She already did the professional course and the advanced course. Uh, I think in 2016 you did the advanced course, right, Angelica? I think so. Yeah. It's, it's been a while. Time flies. Something <laughs> around seven years ago. Yeah, oh my god. So, there we go. And you have a lovely work. You um, made this work during the Emotions Day, right? Yes. So, maybe we can have people in the chat guessing what emotion this was. Of course, it will take five minutes before we actually even know. But, um, let's see, we need a little bit more to the front. And actually, maybe we don't really see because the background is gray. So <laughs> what I think we should do is, I'll move, is that all right? Can you see it then? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, we'll move that out of the way. <laughs> Always good to be a little the chaotic. Level. So I'll turn the lights a little bit more on your work so that we can actually see better. Yeah, now everyone can see it. Yeah, and you can stand on the other and side. On the other side. So Angelica, I'll give the room to you well, to talk a little bit about your work. Yeah, which I very much like <laughs> talking about my work. I did not prepare anything. I just <laughs> cut my finger. So <laughs> it's been, no um, worries. well, one of the things I can say is it has been two wonderful weeks. 
-hmm. full of learning and um, yeah, creating. Yeah. Long days, but worth it, I must say. Um, so yeah, this piece I made during the day um, of the lessons of emotions. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, should I wait with saying what emotion? Yeah. What is? emotion do you think it is, guys? I'm not seeing any comments yet. <laughs> but I think you had a, had a good time to, mm. to work on it. Um, this is, it's been a while since you've been, done the advanced course, yeah. right? In between, of course, you've helped and assisted some times with the, with the masters. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but so not fully made a whole piece by myself. No, right? So yeah. then this was a good challenge. And we thought every day you can learn something new. And I think you did, right? Every yeah, day. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So yeah. many different things to do. Yeah. So, um, but <laughs> we're not. Yeah, we're getting a guess. Oh no, we're not no getting guess. a guess. All right, then. By now, you can probably just say what's okay, your emotions. Okay. So. Um, so uh, we were dividing the, the the emotions. Yeah. Random raffle, and then accidentally there was a duplicate. So which one was the duplicate? So Anahit had tenderness. Yeah. And we made mine anti-tenderness. Yeah, you both had tenderness, <laughs> had the exactly. Same, yeah. So the opposite of tenderness, whatever yeah. that might be. Well, I think I can see in your work. It is not sweet. No. It is not soft. <laughs> it's not tender. No. <laughs> no, I went for a cold, harsh, um, a little bit of creepy, mm -hmm. I think, materials and movements. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the arrangement is standing on weird legs and feet, mm -hmm. um, which yeah elevates it, uh, makes it a bit playful also, I guess. Yeah. But extra creepy, of course. Um, yeah. And the black just helps a lot with the color of the flowers, I yeah. think. And the flowers are dying, which is <laughs> which not was the tender. Point. <laughs> it was the point. Yeah. They're actually on water, but they're dying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They were already older flowers. Yeah. And you made this lovely disc. And yeah. uh, you used what kind of paper? So it's a tracing paper. Hmm. Uh, and I, when you uh, like scrunch it, the tracing paper, it gets this funny texture. Yeah. Um, which is oh. yeah, very so. unique instead of being very flat. And then I uh, spray painted it and I put the spray paint very thick on it. Mm. So it, it creates these cracks, like cracks and drips, mm. which also gives it a, a weird texture. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it like the rest is tubes yeah. connected to the frame and uh, a tube on a wire arm going up. Yeah, I think you get a very cool composition that way. Thank um, you. It's uh, like very creepy with the branches, yeah. and you create the nice depth because you add the branches. So yeah, overall, I really like it. Yeah, Thanks. I think you did a great job, and I hope to see that style that you have over there develop and uh, see yeah. what you come up with. Because yesterday you were working with crystals, and yes. so I'm very interested. Yep. Ah, so we got some guesses. We got Charmini saying, is it fear? Actually, it fear could have been very also well Also a good said. one, yeah. Yeah, and Sarah Linton agrees. Yes, fear, look at the feet. <laughs> They're crawling towards you. Right? <laughs> and Charmini says, cool, Angelica, gothic and dark. Yeah. And Sharon says, wow, Angelica, so creative. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Angelica normally, of course, does the live stream voice. And yeah, it's weird standing on the other side. <laughs> as a florist, even. You've yeah. been here as a cook in front of the camera. Yep. And now you're here as a florist. So, well, anyway, I really thought it was very cool. Thank and, you. And um, for homework assignment, you're going to use that thing with the crystal. Yeah. So we'll be seeing that uh, asymmetrical design. Yeah. And maybe we'll show that at some point in a live stream if, if the time lines up nicely. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank Let's you. move this yeah. out of the way. And then I think the last person, oh, we can grab this. Oh, no, well, it's okay. I'll that's all right. It. Then we, I think we have the last person for the stream. And that is our good friend from China, Song Tao. He is getting mic'd up right now by Sinsin. Oh, sorry about the noise. And 
he made another amazing design that I think is very interesting. Um, I won't talk, so sorry for all the strange noises. I won't talk too much about the work itself because he'll probably want to talk about it. I have a pedestal here for him that he can use if he wants. A little bit more this direction. And then I'll put, actually, I, I scoop this away, but maybe he wants to put his flowers on here, so uh, I'll do that. Okay. So, hello, hello Song. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much for doing it. Thank you. So we have another emotion here, but maybe the audience also wants to guess about that. Yeah. So that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, we got the chorus and, yeah. uh, from the emotion now, so yeah. I want to, uh, you know, use a, you know, I got the lucky, lucky Jew is the yeah, pride. Yes. So yeah, I want yeah, to, yeah. I want to use the how to exp uh, use the pride with yes. the, with the you know flower art. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you removed quite a lot of the flowers from the design so that you can put them in back in on the, uh, yeah. during the during the demonstration. Yeah. So I'll give all the time to you. I don't <laughs> want to take too much of your okay, time so, so that you can. Talk. Yeah, I think yeah. sometimes I need your help. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. I'll stay close. I don't okay. go too far. I, I stay next yeah. to the camera. Okay, so I need to... Okay, guys, <laughs> no I'm, worries, I'm here I for I need you. to guide my flowers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The first, uh, I think we start by the... Mm. I want to I want, uh, show the structure. Mm. So it's based by the, I think, the metal and yes. the metal board, right? Yeah, you're and, right. Uh, it's, uh, and the night, you see the wood, wood log. Yes. And I cut it and... Uh, so you got the, the short one, and mm. maybe we call this uh, is a, uh, I think it's twenty me twenty yeah, centimeters, something like and that. This yeah. is the, uh, this also uh, one, two, three, uh, four, forty. Yeah. yeah so yeah. this is a, uh, this by the you know you can get the elevation. Like, yeah. Yeah. This and then I use the, uh, use the air, uh, the, spiral technique. Yeah. And then you then I. I get uh, the the tube yeah. and the row because then I can put the big grass inside, mm -hmm. so I Very get good. the wing. Yeah, because yeah. Because that's yeah. been pride. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's the whole okay. pose is there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so what's pride? And they say the the flower. We, in China, we call it the the king. Ah, yes, the king protea. The king pro yeah. So, yeah. could you introduce about this one? Because yes, I mean, it's the, a protea, and actually we do call it the king protea as well. <laughs> so yeah, so it's it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think I go mostly the flowers. I choose the tropical style, mm. and uh, mm, yeah, uh, you can find the uh, you can find this. Yes. And we go there for the yes. leaf Lich, of the Lich, leaf of paradise, right? Yes. Paradise leaf bird. from the bird of paradise. Yes. So that in Latin yeah. would be strelitzia. Yeah. yeah. So we need some. You know, it's, uh, because this is, uh, we call it the quiet shape, and we yeah. need some broken line to, mm. for some line to broke, broken that. Because this, you know, sometimes the symmetrical things mm. is a little bit boring. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. need to some, like Gregor told us that you yeah. need to twinkle some, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> and good. then we can, because this is the focal point, and then it's uh, like one third, mm. and and also today I asked a question about Gregor, which is the um, balance line. Yeah. So I think it's uh, very important to do some something, especially you have a asymmetrical mm. uh, all asymmetrical uh, work. Yeah. So, uh, but I think if you want to do that, not bar not boring, yeah. you have to do some different line yeah, in yeah, between yeah. your arrangements. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well, so uh, you can see the wonderful, beautiful one orchids. Yes. Here, yeah, wonder. So yeah, where do they come orchids. from? I, I know this very expensive in yeah, Netherlands, yeah. right? So they they are uh, Vanda orchids from Ansu Vanda. Yeah. And they have such an incredible variety. Like they have all the colors of the rainbow. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. So these <laughs> are also from them. And you know, yeah. So you you know, there's a, like a really beautiful butterfly there. Right. So we need sometimes and make your arrange. Sorry, I need to turn. Oh no! Please go bit. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Feel free. So sometimes you need to uh, well, do, to walk uh, the other side. Well, yeah. Okay. 
There you go. And I really like <clears throat> the purple in your anthurium. Mm hmm Anthurium. Um, it's, uh, I think also because the flower, fla you know, the, the, the color. Yeah. And the, you, you can see some color from mm. the, the king and yeah. also the from here. You're right. Just a little bit connected each yeah. other and then... You're right, the drying in the portilla makes exactly. it a little bit purple look, you're right. Yeah. And also, we got this. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got that beautiful uh, botanical from, um, it's from Morning Glory. Morning, go morning Glory. Yes, Morning Glory. Okay. And it's the, the iris. And oh. in specific, it's the, let's see what. Yeah, because I know, I think if you want to be proud and mm -hmm. you want to hug someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got here and then the, I, we go I, back. in my heart and mm -hmm. I want to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, oh, uh, I like that. So Iris Comosa is, yeah. this, is the second name. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> I like the philosophy behind your work. And okay. when you were working on it, uh, during the class, I could immediately tell mm -hmm. that's pride. Makes yeah. a lot of sense. Okay, so I need something. Go this side. Yeah. So by adding that beautiful, yeah, because and some detail about yeah. that. So by adding that uh, alocasia leaf, yeah, you make a nice like a uh, calm spot in mm. the design. Nice. Point for I. Very strong to have them together like that. Yeah. And it, you know, sometimes we, t we need to re repeat. Yeah, repeat. Yeah, repeat the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat the your shape and, exactly. the, and the, you know, be by level, by level, by level. And yeah. then you can see the really trans, uh, trans, trans transparency. Yes, yeah, transparency. Yeah. And between your th the top flowers oh, yeah. in front of, and then you can see the your uh, your basement mm. uh, very clearly. Yeah. So you can see the your, you know I can see I can see in the TV. Yeah, it's <laughs> and cool, right? also, it's, it's nice. Yeah, so it can keep the keep the different of the of the um, level. I, I, yeah. I, we call it flower level, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like a stair, the, and you up, 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 exactly. Up, up, yeah, in. you're layering all these different levels over yeah. each other, so you have to yeah. create this depth. Yeah. Yeah, you can clearly see that happening. Yeah, so you know, you know what? In China, mm. we also use this for cooking some really nice food. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if you use that. Oh, uh, never. I didn't know. It's possible. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. Ah, well, I am a plant eater, so uh, yeah. it would fit in my diet very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going there. And so. we use this for the, you know, make your uh, structure more movement. movement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and it's like your dancer and uh, some little... Yes. Yeah. So that's a Casmantium latifolium Lato from uh, from Park, mm -hmm. and uh, you know just a touch of that adds so much character <laughs> to a design. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you mm. know you need some a little bit like a yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so a shadow. So we just use that for. Here to just uh, make a shadow a little yeah. bit. Uh, you know, sometimes you show the flowers, you know, directly yeah, is exactly. a little bit boring. But you know, yeah. just like this and yeah. like the, you know, <laughs> the wink. Most, yeah. yeah, wink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. It creates so much depth by adding some some beautiful leaf over a flower. Exactly. Creates some air of mystique. Yeah. By the way, it's a really wonderful course here. <laughs> uh, now I met before, and you know we got a wonderful mm. school and a wonderful teacher here, <laughs> and everyone be really nice. And we're yeah. almost like a family. Yes. And got lots of the flower knowledge. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, actually proud of that. Mm. It's almost like a flower book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got right. the botanic knowledge here. Yeah. So when you open it, mm. you can get really proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please join us, okay? Yeah, I love that <laughs> okay. philosophy. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, it was really nice. Yeah, I think we also also have a good news is the next year Grigo uh, also also opened IMF again, right? Uh, yeah, so. Yes, yes. Yeah. November 11, 2024 oh. is the next 
next date actually yeah okay it was just made official uh, yeah we didn't have a date before but this is official okay yeah. i think i'm almost almost uh, done hope yeah. you guys will like this arrangement no? yeah thank you i'll have a look maybe someone said something about it i'm sure they did okay and and song you were here also for the professional and the advanced right a couple of years back already yeah i think so we know each other a long time now i think before seven or eight years ago i think <laughs> Yes, exactly. Uh, so we have, um, let's see. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we still have some people referring back to Angelica's design, which I didn't tell to Angelica yet. But anyway, people are enjoying. People are enjoying the work a lot, and I think you have a really strong design there. So, okay, it's very nice. I will reset this. Yes. So if anyone has any questions. To Sung, please go ahead. Or yeah, come on. The, the Hope same. you guys will like it. Yeah, I think so. It's really, really nice. I think Gregor also said he appreciates the work so much. So, there we go. Okay, yes, I think. Thank you so much. It's it. beautiful. A beautiful book okay. of floristic knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay, Love thank it. you, Mac, yeah, for introducing the flowers here. Yeah. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm so in love. Thank you very much for the work. It's a okay. great work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. So See have you next nice time. You can leave it. Oh, you can leave it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, well. The last oh, your last oh. one. Well, okay. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. See bye you. Bye See bye. you later. See you. We'll have a little See drink. Later. Yeah, I'm really in love with this book. It's really nice. Very very strong design. So, um, therewith, I would like to say. Sorry. Oh yeah yeah. I'm I'm getting some getting some words uh, thrown into my ear from all over the room. My mom, uh, Jacqueline Borma, she just discussed the dates with Gregor. So that would be November 11th. Yeah, November 11th. And if you would like to join this program uh, next year, you can do so. Uh, you can go to borma.nl slash en or uh, floral, dutchfloraldesign.com. I think we have so many websites anyway. Um, and you can join the course. Uh, what we ask is that you send us a portfolio so that we can see what is your skill level currently uh, because this is our master florist education it's the highest level that we have to offer um, but if you have no experience but would like to join we recommend first joining our uh, professional course it's a level one training it's uh, going to be a four-week program next year uh, of which we will do uh, april 18th i believe from top of my head we'll do it in philadelphia April 8th. But anyway, go to our website. January 15th. January 15th, we have the first possibility here in Aalsmeer. Then in April, I'm flying over to the US to teach the program for the first time ever uh, in the US. Uh, then it's split into two parts. So you have uh, two weeks in April and two weeks in uh, September. And then here it's uh, January 15th, level one. Level two starts immediately after level uh, one has finished. So that's the advanced course. So you just saw, you just saw um, Kodai, you just saw uh, Song, you saw Sarah, you saw Ista. All of them first did the level one professional course and then joined the advanced course and now have joined the master. Um, so yeah, if you've done an education somewhere else, maybe you've done EMC or something like that, uh, you send us an email, uh, you AIFD, or uh, some other uh, testing, um, send us some email with a portfolio showing a wide variety of your work. So we want to see that you can do all the basic shapes. We want to see that you can know how to work with tubes and uh, know how asymmetry works, know about the golden rule. If you can show that in uh, photography and works and send that to us as a portfolio, uh, we can tell you, oh, okay, maybe uh, you can join IMF immediately, or maybe first you need to do the ADFD, or maybe actually you need to start with the DFD. So, and registrations yeah. are open today. Oh, registrations, I just hear, are actually open from now. So uh, if you were on the fence of joining, uh, please feel free to go to our website. You can just register right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll see each other then next year in November, November 11th. So uh, anyone watching, Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate that you guys are here with us. Uh, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. And what also really helps us out, if you're watching this after the live stream or just right now, leave a comment. 
not percent well in the chat is always good but in the comment section if you leave a comment there and you give a thumbs up that helps us because the algorithm then decides the youtube algorithm decides it's a good video and uh, it will recommend it to other people and it will help our channel grow uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to subscribe we'll do live streams every other week so in two weeks there's another one by another person and uh, it's always interesting my mother would still like to say something i think yeah roxy says quite unique mm. about the uh, arrangement of oh, yeah. uh, song yeah. and uh, Charmina says uh, thank Charmine. you for this great experience hello Charmine. mama Jacqueline <laughs> Mike, Aww. Angelica, Axel miss all the floral education and supportive environment at Burma Aww. you make my mom tear up there I don't know if you heard it but yeah thank you Charmini uh, appreciate the kind words so uh, yeah thank you very much everyone I'm just gonna wave goodbye now and see you in the next video